Back in the early days of my channel, I did a video review of this lens right here which is a vintage Vivitar telephoto lens from 1969. That video was more for practice than anything else, and I didn't really expect it to do well, but I did notice that it recently had a small spike in views, so I figured, what the heck? It might be nice to revisit this lens and improve on the first video. So let's get started. All right, so as you know, this lens is from Vivitar and it is built specifically for Nikon film cameras like this one right here. This is a Nikon FG, but this lens also happens to work on modern film cameras, not film cameras, but this lens also happens to work on modern cameras such as the Nikon D5600 that I'm filming on right now. It's definitely nice that Nikon's lens mount hasn't changed in however many decades, and that allows me to test this lens on video and evaluate it a little better. Now, I personally received this lens for free, but I did see it on eBay for around 20 to 30 bucks and someone in the comments of the last video actually mentioned that they got theirs at an antique store. So if you're watching this video because you own this particular lens, comment down below and let me know where you got it because I'm actually kind of curious. It's been forever since I've been hiking and it feels really good to be back outside again. All right, the Vivitar lens has a pretty generous zoom range of 85 to 205 millimeters, and it also has a macro mode that allows you to take pictures up close. The most important thing to note about this lens though is its sheer size and weight. Like this thing is legit built of metal, not to mention it's just really bulky and difficult to use quickly. Even just twisting the focus ring is a slow process. This is literally as fast as I can go. And you're probably not going to be able to get any action shots with this just because of how long it takes to focus. There's also no image stabilization in this lens, which is something that a lot of modern lenses have. So there is going to be a lot of shake if you're shooting handheld. And you can see in the test video that there is quite a lot of movement. So if the situation allows it, I definitely recommend that you use a tripod. So we're trying to find some birds to photograph slash video with the lens. So far there aren't a lot and normally there are lots of ducks and herons around. So we've only seen a couple and we haven't been able to get any shots. So see if we can get any at all. Another important thing to note is that you can't shoot in auto mode with this lens. Because it's a non-electronic lens meant for film cameras, it's not going to be able to communicate with a digital camera. That means that the camera won't know that it has a lens attached which means that it won't take any pictures unless you fully override it. To do that, you have to shoot in manual mode and you also have to have an understanding of ISO, shutter speed, aperture, all of that fun stuff. So if you're new to photography, you might have a small learning curve there as well, just something to keep in mind. So clearly this is a difficult lens to use, but is the image quality worth it? I'm gonna be honest, not really. While I don't know what Vivitar's reputation was like back in the day, I do know that nowadays it's not exactly known for high quality equipment. The image quality from this lens is very soft, almost blurry most of the time. Now, you could say that this is artistic or cinematic, and yeah, video shot with this lens has a very tangible old school feel that I actually kind of like. But I most definitely would not use this lens for something like a serious photo shoot. I said this last time and I'll say it again, for the most part, this is really just a cool thing to have as a hobbyist, you know, something to beef up the collection and then show off in a YouTube video. This lens also makes for a great telescope. And if we take a look through, you can see that we have a dad in his natural habitat. Please be sure to leave a comment if you own this lens. Again, let me know how it came into your possession. Maybe you found it at a yard sale or something, I really don't know. And let me know how you're using it. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.